Hi, I'm Michelle Pippin, and I want to talk with you today about what you might be ignoring in business. And oftentimes, it's the most common sense strategies that we tend to avoid. I spoke with a man today who um, sells um, insurance and financial planning for Northwestern, and, um, and he was really, really impressive. And one thing he said to me is, he goes, I know my strategies. He goes, it's simple. It's not easy but it's simple and I absolutely agree. And so I want to talk to you about this um, sex toy party that I went to recently and show two things that the um, person who was doing the party ignored to her own financial peril. Um, so here we are where it's essentially a bachelorette party. It's one of those fun parties. Um, everyone brought money. Everybody was ready to spend. Um, the bachelorette obviously benefited um, from how much we spent. We are able to give um, a gift card, essentially, put money towards whatever she wanted. And um, we came. It was festive. Um, and when we got there, um, two things she ignored. One, she ignored the shopping habits of women. Uh, women, just like we tend to go to the bathroom in groups, we shop in with a packed mentality. And um, um, and so, you know, in a, in a party, in a group atmosphere, you want women to engage with one another because we will encourage each other to buy and we will have fun while doing it. And if you have a party that's fun and the people within the party are engaged with one another, you will always sell more because common sense tells you that the more um, fun your participants are having, um, the more they're going to spend. And um, instead of recognizing that common sense strategy, this woman really, really wanted to crack down on anything that wasn't relating to her uh, listening to her presentation. And the truth is, we weren't there to listen to her presentation. And we wanted to have fun. We wanted to engage with the bachelorette. We wanted to engage with one another. And we resented being asked if we wanted to share something with the group or talk that we had to be quiet down to listen to one more explanation of lotion that she was um, that she was going through. She cost herself sales by treating us um, by childizing us and um, demanding that we pay attention instead of making it fun, holding our attention and allowing us to engage with one another and um, and adhere to our own shopping um, mentality, which is we shop in groups, we buy in groups, we encourage purchases in groups. The second thing that she did was um, in one of those fun parties, um, what you have to order is sort of sensitive um, products. And um, so you order in a private ordering room. In this case, I walked in to place my order, and um, I was greeted by the person who um, who did the party sitting down. I had to sit across from her, and behind her were three other women that she had brought with her. Um, and one of those women happens to be the team mom for my son's football team. And so obviously, these it was it was ordering in front of a panel, and um, and common sense tells you these are not the products that you want to order with an audience. Of course, common sense did not prevail in this case. She had her three people there to fill your order in case she had what you wanted in stock. So I placed a very safe order, something I wouldn't be embarrassed to, uh, to um, have someone at my son's football game know that I had purchased or was using. And, um, and so she lost out on a lot of sales. And so I encourage you today to look at what you might be ignoring um, about maybe the way your clients buy or where they buy or how they prefer to buy. What common sense strategies are you ignoring? I found them all, I found many of them in my own business where I've ignored things. So I just wanted to challenge you today to look at how you market, how you network, how you sell, and see if there's a place where you could infuse your process with a little bit of common sense. Talk to you soon.